Yo, man, I know we talk a lot about the shoes on here, obviously, because we a sneaker unboxing show, but this box, yo, like, this box, this is the OG Jordan 2 box right here. Like, this shirt is clean, man, and now I'm going to pop it open. MJ, bro, bro let, let's get this episode cracking, man. Come on. What's good, family? It's your boy Sykes, and you are looking live at another episode of Special Delivery, man. Hey, look, thank y'all so much for being here with us today. We really appreciate you, but make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell because we are this close to getting 500 subscribers, and I want you to be that 500. I want you to, to come here, join us, be part of our family because we're going to have some heat coming down, man, including what we got today. And, and speaking of what we got today, dog. These joints, these joints are the, the definition of fly, y'all. We have the Ah Ma Man Year Air Jordan 2s. These joints are some, some shoes that we've been waiting for since like late 2021 at this point. Like we've known that these are coming down the line and we finally got them on set. Big shouts to my homie Trey for letting me hold this pair and unbox them on the show, man. I'm really excited about these, honestly, mostly because they continue that same thing that we saw with the Ah Ma Man Year Jordan 1, where you talk about airness or blackness in sneaker culture and it has that same cracked leather vibe that same og neo vintage feel to it that i've really just enjoyed but more than that i feel like the story is just a reminder for us to to just appreciate what we have a little bit more in sneaker culture and we're going to talk about that today but before we get into it y'all know the vibes man we got to unbox these things so let's do it Yo, man, be before we actually dive into the sneaker, I want to take a second to appreciate this box, man. Like, this is the OG look of the Air Jordan 2 box right here. Like, you got the wing logo right here prominently. Got the wings on the side. And like, then you got that classic I'm I'm in your color scheme on here. Just luxurious stuff, man. Like, this is like, yo, this is big baller stuff, bro. Like, I, this is, whew. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at these. Oh, actually, actually, before we pop these open, Y'all see Mike flying through the air right here? That's that That's that airness that, that you talk about right here. You got the, the Jordan 2s in the joint too. Like this is just, this is incredible presentation. Incredible presentation. But anyway, cracking the shoes open, man. Let's see. Woo! Oh man, these joints right here, these joints right here, this is a gorgeous sneaker, y'all. Like this shoe is, oh my, this is this is just beautiful. Like the execution on this thing is incredible. Like I thought the, the Air Jordan 1 was really good with the whole airness theme and the Neo Vintage crack leather theme. But honestly, like this to me looks a lot better. Like you can you can see the crack leather on here. It just, it, it, it looks, it feels a little bit more, more quality, a little bit more smooth. And that's not to say that the Air Jordan 1 looks bad. I just feel like, I don't know, this one, it looks so much better placed on this Air Jordan 2. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the paneling. I don't know. It's just great. And you can see that crack leather just all over this thing. Moving up, you've got these uh, black wax laces right here. You had the burgundy laces that were the same material on the uh, Air Jordan 1. I feel like this black actually gives the shoe a little bit more pop, a little bit more of a contrast, right? Moving up into it. And then you go to the tongue right here. You see that classic Air Jordan 2 wing logo right there, right? And then underneath that, actually, you've got a little bit of uh, snakeskin leather right there, which was a prominent feature in that I'm I'm Air Air Jordan 1. And then you go to the back heel. You see you got that I'm I'm Air logo right there. Then you got these Jordan 2 ridges right there, which I always thought was a weird part of the sneaker. But then you go down into the uh, the heel area. You got this TPU cage right here that's sort of covering the heel. And underneath of it, it's actually a little bit translucent underneath this overlay right here. You can see a little bit more cracked leather, which I think is a really interesting and cool detail to uh, have as a part of this sneaker. And then moving down, you see this, this gorgeous uh, black snakeskin midsole. Like honestly, when I first opened these joints and I saw this, this was a little bit jarring to me, but then just as I stared at the shoe, as I marveled at it, like this, this really gives the shoe a, a really good contrast to me, in my opinion. Like I, I really like the, um, the sort of Neo Vintage aged soul of the uh the Amame Air Jordan 1 but this to me gives it a little bit more of a 
I don't know, it's a, it's a twist, right? It's a, a really cool twist, I think, to add to, to this sneaker, right? So then moving on, you got this, this classic uh, vintage outsole on the Jordan 2 in this Ama Meyer colorway. You've got this, this sort of creamy white vibe, and then you got the black touch there, and you got the, the, um, the burgundy on the heel. Like, this is just, just gorgeous, just gorgeous stuff, man. This is just an incredible sneaker. Like I said, it carries on that whole airness theme that we saw on the Ah My Man Year Air Jordan 1. Like this is just a, a, a beautiful, beautiful shoe, man. And, and honestly, speaking of airness, we still gotta talk about that. Cause I feel like that's a conversation in sneakers that is still pretty prominent. And one that we need to continue to have, especially with what happened to this sneaker right here. So let's talk a little bit about that. These joints right here are all about airness. And y'all have heard me say that before about the Air Jordan 1, the Ama Year Air Jordan 1 that we had on here, I guess last year sometime, maybe in like November. I can't really I exactly remember the date, but the same thing applies here. This is the same theme and the theme is about blackness in sneaker culture. Without black culture, we do not have sneaker culture. And that is what these shoes are trying to get us to understand. It's what they're trying to get us to appreciate. Yeah, I still feel like there are people out there who don't really get that message with these sneakers. When I search these shoes on YouTube or I go to Google, I see, you know, people saying to drip, skip or flip these, or I'll see people asking what the resale value is or if these are gonna brick or not. And like, all of that is cool. All of that is fine and well. I'm not really out here to beef with no other shoe tubers out there. But at the same time, I feel like we're just not really drilling down on what the exact theme of these sneakers is. And that theme is to appreciate the history that comes with this sneaker, to appreciate the folks who made this sneaker pop, who make sneaker culture what it is. And those folks are the black and brown people that started all of this, man. You can go down the line. Michael Jordan, Kanye West, whoever else you want to name, man. These are these are the black folks who really make this stuff pop. And these shoes are a reminder of that, honestly. And a lot of times I feel like we just look at sneakers as assets today. And I feel like this shoe actually kind of fell victim to that a little bit. Some folks broke into the Ama Mayer store in Atlanta to actually steal pairs of these. Like they literally took a sledgehammer to a wall y'all to try and steal pairs of these sneakers and that's just such a shame to me because it totally ruins the story of these sneakers and totally convolutes the conversation about these joints man and that conversation is such an important one that i feel like we need to have in sneaker culture because i kind of feel sometimes like we're losing the plot a little bit so so i'm begging y'all man please do not lose the plot respect these sneakers, respect sneaker culture, and respect where all of this stuff that we love comes from. Because honestly, that's how we continue to move it forward. And that's how we get more beautiful sneakers like these joints right here. But speaking of these joints, man, I actually want to talk to y'all about a little something, man. So I feel like, and I know you feel like, there's a Jordan 2 resurgence out here. And I'm kind of surprised by that, but like pleasantly surprised, honestly. like. This is really cool to see Jordan 2s coming back in this way. And, and we're getting a lot more of these too, by the way. Let, let's talk about that for a second. Twenty twenty two is the year of the Jordan 2 in a major way. And that's pretty exciting to me, man. Like, I'm not going to lie. Look, I'm not the biggest like Jordan 2 fan out here. Like Jordan 2s are cool. They've always been cool to me. And I feel like people hate on them a little bit too much. Like this is definitely not the worst Jordan model that we've ever seen. Y'all remember them joints that D-Wade was wearing back in the day? Like that was crazy. But, but anyway, like the Jordan 2, I feel like gets a little bit of disrespect. And to see the two coming back in this way right here with all of these different collabs, like you've got the Ama Mayer joints right here. You had the Virgil joints that we had at the tail end of last year. You had the Union joints that we had this year, even though that release was kind of trash. You got the J Balvin joints that are coming. You've even got OG Jordan twos that are coming down the pipeline, man. Like we're seeing the two come back in a really cool way. And that's exciting for a lot of fans of these sneakers like my guy Evan over here like my guy Trey who let me borrow his sneakers for this show. 
that's really exciting to me because I feel like it's really cool to see fans of these silhouettes that aren't necessarily the most loved or most coveted finally get their just due. Like to see Evan be able to get his hands on a pair of these, like that's dope. I'm really happy for my guy. And hopefully Jordan Brand comes back with more silhouettes that they, they aren't touching as much these days. Like I don't want to just keep seeing the Jordan one, right? Like give me like, I don't know, a, a Jordan 19 or something like like give me give me something a little bit different like the Jordan 2 keep this coming man like just just give me a lot more of that please Jordan brand I am begging you at this point more of this please but anyway fam that's a wrap for special delivery I'm your boy Sykes and this is I my man years airness Jordan 2 we'll catch y'all on the flip side peace Thank you so much for watching this episode of Special Delivery. Make sure you like and subscribe to catch future episodes of Special Delivery. And in the comments, let us know what Jordan silhouettes you would love to see come back. We got the twos right here. You know, your boy, your boy would like to see some 19s, Jordan Brand, if y'all could get that popping for me. But let us know what y'all want to see in the comments.